is great. With Jade Hop and Antonio Schoenhardt. Welcome back to Thursday News Break. I'm Jade Ha. And I'm Antonio Schoenhart. Here are tonight's top stories. A Kentucky high school is in the news after a pep rally featured male students wearing lingerie and giving lap dances to their principal, who is uh, also their town mayor. This reminds me of that one Nirvana song. Uh, what was it? Uh, smells like teen trauma. Right, right. A group of 100 hippos that descended from Pablo Escobar's hippos have been recognized as legal persons in the United States. Kind of insane that these hippos now have more rights than women. <laughs> On October 24th, a man waved down an officer just to slap him in the face. That's it. And I sleep soundly at night knowing that that man is out there doing God's work. <laughs> Kim Jong-un tells already starving North Korean citizens to eat less until 2025 as food runs low. Coincidentally, I will also be implementing this plan until I graduate in 2025 due to the fact that I'm already currently living off of only ramen and half a bottle of Canada Dry. A teen is being praised online for calling out his parents for favoring his little brother over him. Well, try having your parents take both of your brothers to Disney World and say you can't come, and then having your stepmom tell you that it's your own fault because you're all grown up now, and then going home to your mom crying because your dad doesn't love you, and then writing a stand-up routine where your dad is the butt of the joke because he's taking your brothers to Disney World without you. And so you think the least he could do is make fun of him at Eastville's Comedy Club's Wednesday night open mic to an audience of 15 30-year-old men, says Newsbreak writer Caroline Davis. We're here for you, Caroline. Fetty Wap was arrested along with five others on federal drug charges for pumping drugs into Long Island and New Jersey. The arresting officers must have found his most recent remix. I'm selling heroin, weed, and blow. My favorites. <laughs> in a recent interview, Kristen Stewart stated that she's only starred in, quote, five really good movies. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn Part 1, and Breaking Dawn Part 2. Hashtag Team Edward. Well, Buzz Lightyear has hair now. We'll just leave this here. <laughs> Coles recently had to recall an anti-gravity chair because it collapsed under gravity. Earth, am I right? Snapchat founder and CEO Evan Spiegel has accused Facebook of having a negative impact on society. I mean, unlike Snapchat, of course, which has single-handedly ended world hunger by introducing Bitmoji stories, am I right? Of course, of course. Amazon has created its first TV with Alexa already built in. Finally, yelling at your TV will actually do something. <laughs> Hundreds of people recently attended the Small Dong March in Los Angeles. Men and women came together in an attempt to lessen the stigma surrounding small penises. And let me tell you, it was an awesome experience. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Small Dong March? Didn't this already happen? <laughs> Noodle the, Noodle the Pug has become a TikTok sensation for predicting whether or not each day will be a Bones Day or a No Bones Day. Once awake, if a 13-year-old pug can stand on his own, it's a, no, it's a Bones Day. If he tumbles over, it's a No Bones Day. Hey, you know what else has no bones? Small penises, hey, up top, come on now. <laughs> A dad shot his son after he refused to stop playing his guitar in his def Now, in his defense, the chorus of Wonderwall gets old real fast. Now, in other father-son bonding news, a Utah resident shot at his father for bringing home the wrong variety of chicken. I mean, you can't blame the man. He was really gunning for some hot wings. <laughs> Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, who criticizes vending machines for showing too much human emotion, announced that Facebook will be changing its name to Meta. Zuckerberg will also be re-releasing the film The Social Network to coincide with this change. Meta is going to be about... Apple News is said to be expanding their local news offerings. Now, I don't know why you would want to read your news from an Apple, but if that's what grannies your Smith, now you can have access to local publications wherever you are. Last week, I was in Sharonville, Ohio, waiting to catch the bus when all of a sudden, my phone started blowing up with news stories I didn't know I needed. 
I was so into reading this list of top 100 novels on the history of wheat from the Farming Almanac Gazette Post that I missed the bus and sat there for four straight days. I hate it when that happens. A woman in Walmart was hit by a frozen chicken thrown at the back of her head. Unlucky for her, it was a Walmart chicken, so it was made primarily of loose gravel and radioactive waste. Well, those are all the stories we have for you tonight. I'm Antonio Schoenhardt. And I'm Jade Ha. Good night, everybody.